Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Urban Treats where we show you easy recipes you can make at home. Today I want to share with you my all-time favorite cinnamon roll. This recipe is so easy to make. You will make it again and again and again. And you know what? This can compete with any commercially available cinnamon roll out there. As always, the ingredients are in the description. Let's get started. Let's prepare the dough for our cinnamon rolls. And for that, we have to first bloom the yeast. Now, I'm using instant yeast, and instant yeast doesn't require blooming. You can just start your recipe with it, and it's really quick and simple. If you're using active dry yeast, then you have to go through the blooming process, and that means just basically mixing your liquids with the yeast, let it rest for a few minutes until it bubbles up, and then start where we are starting now. I have my yeast here, and I'm going to add the milk. This is one cup of milk. 220 milliliters of milk. Just add that in your bowl. I have a third of a cup of sugar here. And one teaspoon of salt. Last but not least, for our liquid ingredients, we're adding two large eggs. And my eggs are at a room temperature. Whenever you work with yeast, remember, you have to keep your dough warm so that the yeast can work properly. Now let's add in our dry ingredient, and that's basically only the flour. It's four and a half cups of flour. And don't forget, we always have the ingredients in the description, and you will find them in cups and in grams. And if you want more details on the recipe, make sure you check out the link to our blog, which is also down below, and we have tons of other recipes there as well that you can easily follow at home. Now let's add it all to our stand mixer, and I'm just going to attach my dough hook. Put that on here. Here you go. And we're just gonna let this net for five to six minutes, and then we'll go to the proofing and shaping. And the dough is ready for proofing. I'm going to use my bowl here with a little bit of oil. Only about a teaspoon of oil. I'm just gonna spread this evenly around my bowl. And a little oil so the dough doesn't stick. We'll just pop it in here. There you go. We'll round it off just a little bit. Give it a bit of twist on the bottom. That's it. And I'm gonna cover this with cling film. We're gonna let it rest for 30 to 40 minutes, and then I'll see you for the shaping. Now, the dough for our cinnamon rolls has proofed and is ready, and we'll just punch out the air a little bit, and we'll get it out of our bowl. Now, this dough is a little sticky, so we're gonna flour our working surface a little bit. Just lightly dust your surface. This will do the trick. And we're gonna roll this into a 10 millimeter thick rectangle. That's approximately a quarter of an inch. It doesn't have to be a perfect rectangle because we're gonna cut out stripes and whatever's left over, we're just gonna net it into another dough ball and then just roll it out again. This is about right. We have about a quarter inch of thickness, about 10 millimeters. And we are ready for the next step. Now, make sure you keep your working surface floured. This can get a bit sticky and you don't want it to stick when you roll. And we're ready. Now, next step, we butter the surface. So I've melted some butter here. That's about a third of a cup of butter. And I'm just gonna brush this on the whole rectangle, on the whole dough rectangle. And this is going to make our sugar stick to the surface or to the inside. But of course, it's gonna give it great flavor as well. 
and it's going to kind of fry the dough on the inside. I'll just brush that on. That's it. We'll brush a little bit into our form as well. And we're going to line the form with sugar so that the um, cinnamon rolls don't stick to the pan. So just br brush this lightly on the sides and that's it. Okay, let's set this here aside. And here I've prepared a cup of brown sugar. So this is dark brown sugar with two teaspoons of uh, cinnamon and I've blended them together. And we're just going to apply these here. And I've left one tablespoon of my sugar cinnamon mixture for the, for the baking uh, tray. So I'll just spread that in here. It's gonna make a nice caramel layer. And we'll just shake this about. Perfectly fine. Now, before we are ready to cut our cinnamon rolls, I'm using a small palette knife here to spread the sugar and cinnamon mixture evenly. Get the palette in there, spread it even, leave the edges free because we have to cut these off and then roll them again. And just go all around and try and get it as even as possible. Here we go. And now we're going to cut this into stripes which we're going to roll into our cinnamon rolls and I'm going to make two to three inch thick stripes all across here and then we'll roll them. And that's it. We got eight nice big cinnamon rolls and now we roll them up. And that's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is grab the edge of the roll, fold it into itself and then try and roll them tightly Roll, 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 roll. Give the edge, edge a little pinch, like that. And then just place it into your baking tray. And you can place them close to each other. They're gonna blow up and they're gonna stick together, but it's gonna be lovely. cinnamon rolls are ready for baking. I will let them rest for 10 minutes and then we'll bake them for 25 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to prepare the cream cheese topping. I'll see you in a minute. actually 7 a.m. the next morning and I'm enjoying a cup of coffee on my veranda and you know what goes really well with a cup of coffee of course a cinnamon roll which we're gonna do a taste test for right now but before we do if you've enjoyed this video leave us a like and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and if you enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this one then make sure you subscribe and ring that bell button but now let's do the taste test Ready? Here you go. I already know they taste great. These are really good. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I'll see you next week.